Jamie Kloss disappearance, FBI asks for help in finding girl whose parents were killed. Two days have passed since Jamie Kloss parents were found dead and the 13-year-old girl vanished. But as investigators scramble to find her, Jamie disappeared from her Wisconsin home on Monday. But the FBI is pleading for more help in finding the girl, who is the subject of an Amber Alert. Investigators are trying to find out not only where Jamie is, but also what led to her parents' deaths in the small city of Barron. Kloss' parents were fatally shot and their deaths have been ruled homicides, Barron County Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald said Wednesday. No gun was found at the scene, he said. I'll be honest. I'm struggling with this because I don't have some of those answers that I want to give you, Sarah Kloss said she wishes she were the one endangered, not her cousin Jamie. Sierra wrote an open letter to Jamie on Facebook. I'm going through our family pictures, worrying sick about you frown wishing we could trade places just to get you home and out of harm's way, Sierra Kloss posted. Authorities identified Jamie's parents as James Kloss, 56, and Denise Kloss, 46. In her post, Sierra reminded her cousin that her family, including her slain parents, love her dearly. Grandpa Jim, James, Kloss, your mama bear, Denise Kloss and your very own knight, in, shining armor, your daddy o Jim Jr. Kloss, love all of you. Barron Area School District Administrator Diane Tremblay said Jamie, a member of her school's cross-country team, is a sweet girl who is a loyal friend and loves to dance. During a recent school assignment, Jamie was asked what she would do with $1 million, Tremblay said. Jamie wrote that she would feed the hungry and give the rest to the poor. The parents' employers grieve their deaths. Both James and Denise Kloss were longtime employees of the Jenny O. Turkey store in Barron, Jenny O.'s parent company Hormel said. Our thoughts are with the Kloss family and the entire Barron community, said a statement from Jenny O. Turkey store officials. This is a difficult time for our entire team and we are mourning this loss and are still processing this terrible tragedy. We are also hopeful for the safe return of their daughter, Jamie, and are keeping her and the Kloss family in our thoughts. Fitzgerald said authorities believe Jamie was in the home at the time of the fatal shootings. The sheriff said authorities can't say whether the Klosses were targeted. During a 911 call on Monday, the dispatcher heard a disturbance in the background. But no one spoke directly to the dispatcher, 